Hello, my name is Tim Wangberg, and here is my PKD story. I was first diagnosed with PKD in 1989 when I was 33 years old. The symptoms I noticed were blood in my urine, so I was sent to a nephrologist and sonograms were used to show the cysts on both my kidneys. The kidney cyst size and quantity, as well as the kidney overall size and function were monitored closely over the following years with only minimal changes at first but more rapidly as time went on. As kidney function became degraded, I became less active. In 2006, I had a fistula installed in preparation for dialysis, but my brother Mike offered to donate one of his kidneys to me, so in 2007, I underwent it, the transplant surgery. I also had an additional surgery to remove both old kidneys because the cysts could rupture a serious infection risk. Typically PKD is inherited but not always. No documented conditions were found in my parents or grandparents. I have three daughters. One was diagnosed with PKD when she was about 16 years old, but the other two have shown no symptoms.